Manpower Minister Josephine Teo has cautioned against what she describes as a constant obsession with drawing lines between Singaporeans, new citizens and permanent residents, saying this cannot be good for society. Mrs Teo was responding to non-constituency MP Yong Man Wai, who noted that the average annual increase of new citizens and permanent residents from 2014 to 2019 was 50,000. This was more than the 35,000 PMET jobs that were created for locals. Mrs. Cho said that many of the new citizens and PRs were not job seekers, but dependents or spouses who had become Singaporeans. Is Mr. Leong suggesting that these new citizens are any less of a citizens? Is Mr. Leong suggesting, therefore, that we should discount them, not include them? Or do we look at the broader picture and ask ourselves whether over the last few decades, from the 1990s to what it is today, from 3 in 10 locals in PMET jobs to 6 in 10 locals in PMET jobs, is an amazing accomplishment, not so easily achieved elsewhere. What we are talking about here is actually the pressure on our people, whether, he has, whether it's the original uh, uh, Singaporeans or the new Singaporeans, uh, we actually do not uh, make that uh, 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 distinction. Okay? However, if you are saying that there are 50,000 increases every year and you have only 35,000 increase in the PMET, then we can't deny the fact that there is pressure on the job market of the PMET, right? I accept that there is pressure. And we have said right from the beginning that we understand the anxieties of Singaporeans. However, this constant obsession, if I may put it that way, with drawing lines, I'm not sure it's good for us as a society. There have been occasions where Singaporeans have stepped up and asked us, you know, your policies differentiate between citizens and PRs. I am a citizen. My husband is the PR. My wife is the PR. Why can't they get the same level of support from the government too? We have to search our hearts and ask ourselves before asking these questions. What is our thinking? What is our attitude? And what is the value that we are expressing by even putting this question forward?